Hey, here's a little update. Have you done this correctly? Remember how to share a folder? You create a folder like this with your last name, first name, and then a, a underscore fall 15, sped 465 before you share it with me. Then you right mouse and go share this folder. Not the link, the folder. And then I get that. Uh, so far I don't even have half of yours and I see a bunch of you are dumping stuff into my uh, shared one. And that is not the uh, instructions. That is not where they were to go because it becomes a big scramble like this of stuff I can't keep track of. And so please follow those directions. Go back and view the video from last week on how to do that, how to download Dropbox, how to set Dropbox up, and then share a folder. So I have a folder with you so I can put all the Microsoft stuff in there. And then, of course, link it because then if you put something in here uh, that you want to uh, share like this, now you can uh, 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 take this link and use that uh, uh, for um, to link in your check sheet and keep your check sheet updated. As I said last week, the thing with the check sheet is it allows you to keep track of all this stuff after this course is over because I will be taking these things down from here from the website stuff and you will not have access to it. So you'll have it, stuff in your folder but the bigger thing is on your check sheet you will have uh, you will have this stuff set up and you'll be able to find it back. It should all be on here. And as I've said many times, you do not have to, um, you do not have to uh, reshare that check sheet with me all the time. Once you've shared the check sheet, I've got it in the same way with the Dropbox folder. Once you've shared the folder, whatever you put in that folder, I will get, I will be able to see. So that's just the update for this week. Hope you enjoy the program this week.